All right, time to take a look at the V4 electric scissor jack. So that's actually pretty cool. They put a road signal right there on the case. So you can just set this thing up while you're changing your tire and then people can see that. That's actually cool. I have never seen anybody do that before. Okay. Do you have instructions? So this is nice. It does say that you can use a hand crank to operate this thing if the power on the car isn't working. So that's nice. And this says it uses 12 amps of power. So as long as you got a cigarette lighter that will supply 12 amps of power, that's cool. But if you don't, they actually have this. So you can plug this directly into your battery. And the colors are standard. So black is negative, red is positive. Then you just plug that directly into here and you will have your power. And it even comes with three extra fuses. So that's cool. And it's got the little hand crank here. So if you have to use that, that is an option. Then they got the models and carrying capacity. So the ZS1J is capable of 1.5 tons and that goes all the way up to the ZS5 SJ and that is capable of 5 tons. So check the weight of your car. You're probably not going to be lifting the entire thing with this, but it's good to have something that's a little bit over capacity. But also keep in mind that 5 tons is 10,000 pounds. All right, so we got the cord. Oh, that's neat. So this is the control box. We got up, we got down. Pretty simple. We got some gloves and I do like that they are rubber textured, so that's nice. Oh, that's cool. So we've got a handful of bases or pucks or whatever you want to call them. But lots of different options, so that's great. And these ones, that's cool. So this is like a, uh, it's a softer material. It's not quite a rubber, it's not quite a plastic, somewhere in between. So that's really great. If you're worried about your car, you don't want to scratch up the paint, and use that. I've never seen that before, that's really cool. But they do have straight lines running across, so if you're going to be lifting from your pinch weld, you can just drop that right in there and it will hold it nice and secure. And same thing for these, but these are steel. This is probably what I'm going to be using. But we got this nice long one right here. There's probably different models of cars that have different requirements, but you've got different options depending on what you need. So cool that they got that. And then this is the guy. That's actually lighter than I was expecting. I was expecting this thing to be like unwieldy, but this is not bad at all. Let's put this on. So that's still a little high. I wonder... That's cool. That one just drops right on. So let's measure that. So we're looking at about four and a half inches, a little bit above. So I would say between four and a half and five inches to get underneath your car. Now, this is actually kind of an interesting idea. I've never seen anything quite like that, but this is just kind of a, uh, a loose thing that fits on a threaded thing. But I actually kind of like that just because you can slip this thing around. That's interesting. But it looks sturdy enough. I think that's a good design. That's just, uh, it's interesting. I've never seen one like that before. Okay, so I've got this adapter here, so we can use this to actually test this thing. So that just slides on. Wow. So this thing actually moves surprisingly fast. I mean, you might not look at that and say, hey, that's fast, but for a scissor jack, that's surprisingly fast. I do like that on the screw here, they put grease all the way down, so you don't have to worry about that wearing down prematurely, so that's nice. So one thing I am noticing here, right here, is a limit switch. So that's great. So what that means is you don't have to worry about dropping this thing down too low and then it jamming up. It'll hit that limit switch and shut off. That's really cool. I like that they did that. And it looks like there's another one right here on the bottom. So very cool. Let's see if they work. Cool, sure did. So that cut the power. So that is excellent. That is the design that I would like to see with something like this because I don't wanna to have to worry about this thing jamming up, binding up. Let's see how tall this thing is. Okay, so we are looking at about 14 and three quarters inches. So it's giving us about a 10 inch lift, but that's gonna be plenty enough for changing your tire. One thing I also noticed is that we've got this little light right here. So if you're doing this in the dark and you need to get a look at like your tire or something like that, they gave you this right here. So that's really cool. Cool. There we go. I love the compact size. I love that I don't have to carry around that big low profile jack anytime I got to change a tire on a small car. And it's so much nicer than those manual scissor jacks. Like something like this where all you got to do is press a button. If you ever had to operate one of those things, you know this is a better solution. So I'm very happy with that. That is great.